Next question comes from exercise 4.9. Okay. Manipulating formulas. So let's have a look at this formula or this equation. T is equal to A plus, we got B minus A times E to the power minus K times T. We are told where A, B, and K are constants, express T in terms of the other symbols. Okay. So now, where is T? T is part of the exponent of the base E. So what we need to do is, we need to isolate e to the power minus kt because t belongs to this uh, base here. All right, so now let's see how we're going to do that. Okay, what I can do is, okay, since there are two terms on the right hand side, let's make it just one term. So I can transpose a to the left hand side. So therefore, t minus a is equal to b minus a times e to the power minus kt. Okay, now there's only one term on the right hand side. This is multiplication, so it's just regarded as one term. I want this part here, e to the power minus kt alone, so I can divide by b minus a. So t minus a divided by b minus a is equal to e to the power minus kt. Okay, now, okay, we, are, we come to this situation. Okay, so now we need to work out t. And t is the exponent. So if we had an example like this here, yeah, e to the power minus kt is maybe equal to e to the power 2. If you had an example like this here, then this is an exponential equation where the bases are equal, so therefore you equate the exponents. That will be minus kt is equal to 2. So therefore, t is going to equal to 2 divided by minus k. So this is a situation where you have equal bases. So when you have equal bases, then you equate the exponents. Okay. But we do not have that situation now. We do not have the situation where the bases are equal. So when the bases are not equal, okay, what do we do? Right, so when your bases are not equal, what do you do? You introduce logs or natural logs on both sides. Okay, so when you have E, the letter E, then it's best to introduce natural logs. So let's go back to our log laws here. We know that log of 10 is equal to 1. Okay. Why is log of 10 equal to 1? Because if the base is not shown, the base is automatically 10. And we know that if these two numbers are the same, it's always equal to 1. Okay, so now that is log with the base 10. So when you see ln now, Okay, L, N, the N will mean a natural log. So then if you have a ln of E, okay, it's also going to equal to 1. Why? Because the base is E for natural logs. For normal logs, the base is 10. So we follow the same rules that if these two are the same, it's equal to 1. Okay, now... In a case like this here, when you have E, it's best to introduce natural logs because ln of E is going to give you 1. When you have 10, if this was a 10 here, then it's best to introduce logs because log of 10 will give me 1. But now it is not compulsory to use ln when you have E. So you have a choice. But we are training you 
to start using natural logs because you're going to be using natural logs in calculus when you come to N5. Okay, so now what do we do? In a case like this, you introduce natural logs on both sides. Okay, introduce natural logs on both sides. So on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So on the left hand side, what do we have? We have T minus A divided by B minus A. On the right hand side, we got E to the power minus KT. So we introduce natural logs on both sides, or you could have just write down log on both sides. Why do we do that? Because now, when we have our logs, we now have a tool to bring down our exponent. So I can bring down from my log laws minus k t len e, and on the left hand side I just have len of t minus a divided by b minus a. So now I have len or natural log of t minus a divided by b minus a, and this is going to be minus k t. And we know that ln of e, the base is not shown. The base is automatically e. So ln of e is 1. So you can see why we introduce natural log. Because ln of e is 1. And now it makes it easier. What are we looking for? t. So all I have to do now is divide. So that's ln of t minus a divided by b minus a all divided by minus k is equal to t. So let me just write that down again. So therefore, t is equal to dividing by k there, so that's going to be ln of t minus a divided by b minus a, all divided by minus k there. Okay, so now at this stage, it is 100%. You do not have to go and do anything further. All right, so in the exam, this will be your final answer. This can be simplified further to trick you. Let me just show you what can be done here. So your t is equal to dividing by minus k. So in other words, I can write it as minus 1 over k times ln of t minus a divided by b minus a okay so i can go further it depends okay i can go further here yeah? and i can take this this like how we took the minus kt to the bottom i can always take an exponent back to the top so i can write this as ln of t minus a divided by b minus a And then I can take the minus 1 over k and make it an exponent, minus 1 over k. Okay. So, I can even go further. What I can do here now is, I can write it as ln. And you know that if you have a negative exponent, or if your power is, your basically if your power is negative, and if I want to write it as a positive, then I'll swap the numerator and denominator here. So that will become b minus a divided by t minus a. Okay. I can go further. 1 over k is the same as the k root. So that the root k there, the k root of b minus a divided by t minus a. 
okay unnecessary in the exam but i'm just showing you that if you see an answer like this know that it has been simplified further using our log laws all right so once if you can deal with this one looking at the next one will be simple what does this question require find the expression for r okay so make r the subject of the formula r is the exponent you notice that you have a base of e so what do you do introduce natural logs on both sides so i'll introduce natural logs so that will be len on the left len on the right there Okay, this n sub o is one thing. Okay, it's just one expression there. So what I can do here now, I got ln or natural log of n is equal to. Now, notice that n o is being multiplied by e to the power r t. So I cannot bring down my exponent. If it's a multiplication, it need, needs to change to addition. So that's going to be ln of n o plus ln of e to the power rt. So remember, multiplication will change to addition. So now I can bring down my rt. So that's going to be ln n, and that's going to be ln n o there plus rt ln e. Now I have my ln n is equal to ln of n o plus r t times 1 because remember ln e is 1 what do we want we want r okay so now i got ln of n minus ln n o is equal to r t so now simply divide by T. So that's going to be ln n minus ln n o is equal, sorry, divided by, divided by t is equal to r. So at this stage, and this is your, you can leave your final answer in the exam like this, it is fine. But just if you want to go further, you notice there's a minus sign. So you can simplify further. You can write it as ln n divided by and o all divided by t. Okay, so you can leave it like that. Or if you want to, you can write it as 1 over t times ln n over n o. If I want to, I can go further and take 1 over t to the top. But now you know how to do that. You have a look at that example there. So this is an example where you introduce logs, or in this case, natural logs, when you have E.